Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Tracker Armorized Urban Assault Vehicle and I love this toy. This guy came out as part of the 2003 line of Ninja Turtles that was airing at Fox Kids. Back then they had a Saturday morning lineup. But originally this vehicle was uh, released in 1997 as part of the next mutation line and it was called the Mutant Marauder Mobile Command Unit. So what they did is that they uh, basically repainted it and, uh, and that's it. This is a direct repaint of the original Mutant Marauder. So the toys are exactly the same with the only difference being that the Marauder had more grays than green. Uh, this guy's a little more green and you know, released for the 2003 line. Um, it retailed originally for approximately $20, $25, depending on where you got it. And we're looking here at the box itself. I found this guy recently at Megacon, brand new in the box, never been opened. I was so happy when I saw this. I just happened upon it and uh, it turned out to be at a booth of somebody that I knew that was running it. So I got a really good deal on it. So uh, we can see here on the front, we've got a picture of the actual product itself showing off some of the features. We got Michelangelo sitting up here at the top, manning this uh, cannon. Uh, we see here that there's uh, touting some of the features, fire sewer, shredding torpedoes and missiles of mayhem. Uh, around the top, nothing but the logo there. Uh, absolutely nothing on the bottom. And then on both sides, we're gonna get pretty much the same picture of the product with Michelangelo and that little symbol or the little uh, announcement there that it fires a sewer shred and torpedoes. Around the back, we get another picture of the product from a different angle. Uh, we get some cross sells of some of the figures that were available at the time. Short description of the vehicle. And then we have some of the features that is shown here. And this is this doesn't tell us all the features that the vehicle has, which I thought was really cool because originally when I opened this up, I wasn't very familiar with the vehicle. And I'm thinking, okay, this is all that it does. And then when I when I actually got it open and I checked it out, I found out that it does even more. So that was a very, very welcome surprise. But you can see here, uh, it shows here a blasting bolo launcher. And uh, it, it really just kind of repeats itself here. Blasting bolo launcher that really launches. So that's good. Uh, engine block throwing star launcher. And then again, military grade engine with throwing star launcher. Um, attack and escape hatch. Sports 4 Super Size Turtle Thread Tires. I love, I think it's hilarious that just about every Ninja Turtles vehicle that comes out uh, points to the wheels as a feature. Um, that, that this is, I noticed this with the original Turtle Van. I noticed this with the uh, uh, the original uh, vehicle that they had in the 2003 line. A lot of these vehicles for Ninja Turtles, they tout the wheels as features, and I just think that's hilarious. Uh, armorized militarized shell, uh, but again, it just kind of it's just touting the the the, <laughs> the uh, body of the vehicle itself, which I think is funny. And uh, spring action bow staff and a working winch. So, uh, like I said, that's only some of the features that we're gonna see in this vehicle. So let's get the vehicle out of the package and check it out. And here we have the turtle tracker out of the package and ready to kick some foot and check this out. A uh, Humvee. I absolutely love this. You guys know that I was in the army. I was a truck driver in the army. So this is right up my alley. I absolutely love the idea of the turtles driving a Humvee. Now, if you guys saw the uh, or are familiar with the next mutation, the TV show that was out in the early 90s, you know that in that show, um, think of it what you may, but in the show, the Turtles drove a Humvee. So this was the toy that was originally uh, released for that line, but I absolutely love the fact that they carried it over into the 2003 Fox Kids line. Uh, check it out. It's a very awesome looking Humvee. It measures approximately 14 inches in length. It's about six inches tall at the top of the roof here. Uh, nine or 10 if you want to go to the top of the cannon here. Uh, I say that because uh, we're going to be looking at this in a little bit, but uh, you do have two hinges here. Uh, it is double articulated, so you can bring it down a little bit, you can bring it up a little bit or whatnot. So uh, about nine or 10 inches if you wanna go to the top of the cannon there and just check out all the detail on this guy. I absolutely love the detail on this. It's very well molded to look like a Humvee. It looks, it, it looks exactly right, except of course for this 
giant engine that's sticking out of the hood here. That's obviously not accurate, but otherwise it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the way this looks. All the detail, all the riveting, all the paneling, it's all there. And then you added a little bit of some of these uh, uh, turtle paneling to the hood and the roof which I think it's really, really cool. You got the uh, the bed right back here in the back uh, with the benches where the soldiers would sit at, which is accurate. Absolutely love that. Very nice looking vehicle indeed. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, I've already got a couple of turtles inside riding and ready to go. So let's get right into the features. Uh, we looked at some of the detail here and uh, I should point out, uh, we do have some sticker detail. Uh, you can see a little license plate here. Now this is weird. The license plate says, I don't know if I can get it in there. This license plate says California TMNT HV. So, you know, Ninja Turtles Humvee. But it's a California license plate, which I think is really weird because the Ninja Turtles are in uh, New York. So I, I really don't know what that's about. But uh, so yeah, let's get right into the details and or into the uh, action features. And we're gonna start right here with the engine. So you can see this gigantic engine block right here. And what you're gonna do here is we're gonna pull this up. And uh, I should have probably had one of these already out uh, so that I can show you. So this guy comes about five or six of these guys and uh, they're little ninja stars. Now, originally with the, um, with the Mutant Marauder, these were pizzas. So they carried on the uh, pizza launcher uh, tradition with the Marauder, but in this case, they switched it over to uh, Ninja Stars. And what you're going to do is you see right here at the top, there's a slot and you can see some of the stars sitting right in there. So you're just gonna slot this guy right in there and make sure he's sitting flat, he's ready to go. And then we're gonna go here to this side and there's a little lever on the side right here. So when you pull on that lever, we're gonna shoot off our Ninja Stars right there. So we can use this to take down some of the foot. So here we have the uh, Foot Clan under the command of Shredder coming up on the Turtle Tracker, ready to attack and they don't know what's coming. And uh, the engine is gonna shoot off that Ninja Star. And there they go, the Foot is down and Shredder is not happy. And while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and uh, take out the Shredder also. It might take a couple. Come on, Shredder, go down. There he goes, the Shredder is down. Okay, moving on, the next feature I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be the spring action bow staffs, and I absolutely love this feature. So, if you take a look down here, on, right under the running boards, you can see that there are bow staffs on both sides of the vehicle. And these guys are spring-loaded, and the way these guys work is if you push down on the steering wheel, you're gonna have these two bow staffs that are gonna pop right out on the sides there. So this is really cool because what you can do here, spring those guys right back in, and you can have the uh, the foot coming right up to the vehicle here, and uh, they're gonna be attacking the turtles on each side. And when the foot are on each side of the vehicle, they're ready to attack the turtles. All you have to do is push down on the steering wheel, and the bow stabs are gonna come out and they're gonna take out their ankles, which is absolutely awesome. And it also works if, uh, say you're driving down the road and there was a bunch of these guys just standing here, you can just take out their ankles like so, and it's just gonna cause a lot of damage. Taking a look at the interior of the vehicle, it's real simple to get in here. This is what the box called the escape hatch. So all you gotta do is just pop it open right here on the front and the whole roof of this is gonna uh, open wide. And as you can see, very cool little uh, command module there. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the interior. And as you can see, there are two bench seats in here that could make room for all four turtles. Now there is an issue with uh, fitting all four of the turtles in here. Taking a closer look inside the vehicle's interior, you'll see that there is enough room to get all four turtles in there. However, uh, the front turtles, they've got enough headroom where you'll be able to close this up, but if you try to get all four guys in there, there's just not enough room in the back seat to uh, push the two guys in the back all the way down, so you're not gonna be able to close this down. So yeah, you, you can actually fit all four of them in there, but you're gonna have to ride with the top open. So getting back into the actual command center itself, as you saw, there is a command uh, module or control panel or whatnot. This is what they call the mobile command center with the original Mutant Marauder vehicle. There's a little tab right here. You can reach, just reach right in there and you can pull down this panel and this is gonna create kind of like this, uh, this mobile command unit for uh, the turtles to work on and uh, track the foot or whatever uh, it is that they're gonna do. Um, now, one thing about this is that this little panel here, and I mean little, it's it's very small. It's, it's not big enough 
to hold any of the turtles up here. They're just, they're just, it's just not gonna work. So this is really gonna be kind of uh, pretend. You're just gonna have to hold the turtles up here. Uh, also, it seems, as you can see, it seems kind of flimsy. So even if it was big enough to put a turtle up here, I don't know if it would be strong enough. As you can see, just, just trying to lay the turtle there, the weight of it kind of pulls down on that panel. So I don't know if I would feel secure just putting a turtle up there. But what you can do is you can very easily stand the turtles right there on the railing and then they can use the uh, the computers and do whatever it is that they're going to do. And of course, you know, that's gonna happen if you move the vehicle around, they're gonna fall, but you can very easily pose them up there like so. And uh, I got Michelangelo rather easy. Uh, Raphael's not not really cooperating, but you get the idea, there you go. You get the idea. So you, you can use it that way. Just the panel itself doesn't work that well. And as you saw, um, you can't put all four of them in there again one more time, but uh, you'd have to ride with the top open. Next up, let's look at the blasting bolo launcher. That's gonna be this guy right up here. So this guy came with two of these missiles. And uh, this is really, really cool because what you have here is uh, you've got this missile with a string attached to it. And you can see the top of the missile here. It's kind of like this, uh, almost like a cannonball. And then you've got attached with a string, you have another cannonball. So this is really, really cool the way that this works. Uh, you just slide your uh, missile in as you would any other missile launching toy. And then there's a little seat right here for this other ball. And the way this works is that you just press on this button right back here. And as you can see, the cannon itself is articulated. You can rotate the cannon all the way around. Uh, and then you've got a hinge at the top here and you've got another hinge at the base. So you can point this guy up and down. You can angle it as well, just like so. So you've got uh, a, quite a few options here as to how you want to uh, pose or display this thing. So what you're gonna do is you get your cannon whichever way you want it. And then you're gonna aim it and you're gonna pull on this little lever right back here. And when it launches out, as you saw, it launches and then it, it launches the missile and then the missile pulls on the ball and it just does this bolo, uh, which can generate a lot of destruction. If you have a lot of figures standing up, it's going to take out quite a few of them. This is a very, very fun play feature right here. So here we have one more time. The foot is approaching the turtle tracker. They're attacking. Michelangelo is manning the blasting bolo cannon. And uh, I'm hoping that I can take out all three of these guys in one shot. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna aim down our bolo launcher and and uh, we took out one of them. So let's try one more time <laughs> and see if we can take out the rest of these guys. This is such a fun, cool feature. It's kind of hard to aim when I'm sitting on the side here the way I am. So there's there we go. All of them are down. And uh, real quick, uh, I should point out that I've got, the way I've got Michelangelo manning this thing, it's kind of it's kind of weird because if you remember seeing in the package, they showed a picture of Michelangelo back here manning the cannon. And uh, there really isn't anywhere uh, for Michelangelo to stand or to sit or anything like that. So what I'm doing here is that you've got these, uh, these two hooks back here. We're gonna get into these hooks here in a minute. And uh, since the cannon is off to the side, what I'm doing is I'm taking the front piece of the armor here, of the shell, and I'm kind of hooking it right there on this uh, this little hook. And then the foot of the uh, figure is standing on the on the bench right there, on the soldier bench. So that kind of helps uh, to hold the figure in place. Because if you're going to put him down here, he'd be way too low. You can't really stand him up here. There's not enough room. Unless, of course, you want to turn this thing around, you can also do that. You could turn it around and you can man it from the roof like so. But if you want to do it the way that the package had, I honestly don't know how they did it for that picture. I'm guessing they probably put a little box or something to stand the figure up in. But there you go. Uh, if you have the figure just hanging from that hook back there and standing on the one foot on the bench, you can do it that way. And he looks pretty cool just like that. Moving on to the back of the vehicle, we got two more features back here. Uh, the first one is going to be our ramp. This is something that the box didn't really mention. So if you reach right in there with your thumb, there's a little tab you can pull out on this and then you pull all the way out, it's gonna um, angle down. And now you've got yourself a ramp, and it's like an escape ramp or a load ramp or something like that. And the way I understand it, uh, they had uh, some um, some skateboards, uh, and I have none of these skateboards, but you could try it also with like Raphael's um, uh, motorcycle if you can. I don't know if the motorcycle would fit up here, but the idea was that you could come up on your skateboard and you can ride up or you could ride down with the skateboard. You could ride down on this. So you could basically say line up a bunch of foot soldiers back here. If you had a turtle with a with a um, with a skateboard, you could send it on down the ramp and he would take out all the foot. 
And then of course that's what these hooks up here are for. Uh, the way I understand it is that you could take your skateboard and hang the two wheels of the skateboard right there and the skateboard would just hang there and it would be kind of like a, uh, a storage for the skateboard itself. And of course you can have your turtles riding back here as well just like so since they're not going to fit in the uh in the front there uh you can have them riding in the back just like so so that's that's one feature and then uh the last feature that we've got back here is pretty cool and we have one more time as it is seems to be the tradition with the 2003 line we have a working winch right down here on the bottom and i absolutely love the way that it uh it just conceals itself everything gets put away nicely you don't see it so you just pull up out on this and then you can pull this entire winch out just like so so you could use this for uh maybe dragging another vehicle if like a vehicle was broke down or you could maybe um tie the uh the clamp around one of the foot soldiers like so and then you can just pull them along <laughs> you just pull along the uh the foot soldier and uh that's probably gonna hurt a lot now this is not automated it's not spring loaded or anything like that so you have to wind it up the old-fashioned way just like this and you know there you go it's relatively simple enough and you can just bring in the uh the foot soldiers and then Raphael can just uh do uh, a body slam and just <laughs> jump down and attack from there so there you go there's uh there's the last feature for the turtle tracker so there you have one last look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003 turtle tracker this is definitely a very very fun vehicle if you find it out there it's definitely worth checking out lots of very fun features lots of fun ways to take out the foot plenty of room for your turtles and just lots to do and it's an incredibly good looking vehicle again it's a humvee you can't go wrong with a humvee and i should probably mention ninja stars on the wheels that's so cool so yeah absolutely totally check it out a very very fun vehicle i'm very very happy that i picked this guy up and he's gonna look great with my 2003 collection so i think that about covers the teenage mutant ninja turtles 2003 turtle tracker what did you think of this vehicle and what would you like to see me review next let me know by leaving me a comment give me some thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time Let's just take out one more guy, just for fun. <laughs> Come on, stand for me. <laughs> yeah, go down. Down with the foot.